great. Jim, are you there? Over. Uh, I'm here, over. I've just loaded into a weird location. Uh, I'm sorry to say that this is the spooky, scary castles incorporated uh, place by the looks of it, over. Yeah, I heard what sounded like an angry clown laugh. I'm expecting possibly a jump scare or something. Uh, I have also just loaded inside. I went through the doors there, which presumably unlocked when you uh, set up the bridge. Uh, let me just describe what I've got here. I've got a room with some panels on the floor. They have numbers on them. There are arrows pointing to from some numbers to other numbers. Uh, there's a fence in front of me, which there doesn't appear to be a way through, but I can see a room that looks like a, like a church with some pews in it. And there is a board here, which has the letters A, B, C, D, E on one side and the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across the top. And that's about it for important information, I'd say. Over. Alrighty. Uh, what I have are two sheets of clues containing numbers from 1 to 10 and then coordinates like A3, E2, B4. I also have a pedestal in front of me with letters A to E and 1 to 5 with some pins, colored pins on it. Uh, this whole thing, I think, either rotates or has electricity, water, fire, and uh, grass or life at the bottom of it. And it seems to be uh, wood is beating what by the looks of it. Over. All right, what you're describing seems to match up with this board that I have. So I've got on the left side from top to bottom A, B, C, D, E. On the top from left to right, one, two, three, four, five. And there's a board with five little pegs or balls on it. Three of the balls have leaves on them, one has an electric bolt on it, and one is red, and I think it's fire. Uh, the electricity one is at B1, the fire one is at D2, and the leaf ones are at B4, E1, and E5. Over. I can confirm that these are my locations exactly. I would assume this might correspond to some of the clues that I have here, as uh, numbers correspond to some coordinates. Over. This is going much better. Jim, you said you had some directions. Is there anything you can tell me? I have the ability to move these little balls with the symbols on them. Over. Oh. A clarify if potentially possible. Move or place new ones. Over. Uh, Jim, as you have placed something, I, it has appeared on my end. Over. Oh, okay, this, this could be helpful. Uh, well, let's see what we can do. I have, again, I have numbers, so 1 through 10, and uh, potential uh, locations on the board for that. I'm not exactly sure what we need, like how we need to correspond to that, but... Uh, Jim, regarding numbers 1 through 10, I have clues on the floor with arrows pointing from one number to another, so I don't know if we should play with that first, or if we should play with this A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 first. Over. I think the, they are somehow connected. Uh, like, uh, remind me again what numbers lead to what numbers? Over. Alright, there's a lot of them. So, let me try to do this systematically. So, there's one here that has the number 4 pointing to the number 6. Over. That's helpful to him. Okay, 4 to 6. So, let's see. If I uh, look at my tips, it is E5 to B4. You said 4 to 6, correct? Correct, so let me E5 to B4. It's not letting me... Ream things over. Jam, when that little light on your walkie-talkie is lit up, or if it's uh, surrounded by a red glow, that means that I'm talking. <laughs> so we were just trying to talk at the same time, over. Apologies, over. Uh, what I wanted to say is at E5 and at B4 on my board, I have the two of the green leaf balls. Over. Correct, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to point out as well. Over. All right, I can't connect them directly though, so let me read off another set of numbers. Uh, the next one has uh, 5, 2, 1. Over. The 5 is C3 for me. Uh, which corresponds to nothing. Uh, sorry, 531 or 521, over. It's going from the number 5, pointing to the number 1, over. Oh, wasn't there? Oh, <laughs> Roger, over. Uh, 
Uh, one is D2 in my book, which I get on the board right now corresponds to nothing over. Is there any clue about what might belong there, over? Uh, let me take a peek. Uh, no, I don't believe so. It just says number, coordinate, number, coordinate, over. There's nothing else in your room that has these symbols or colors on them, over? Uh, again, my pedestal has like a, a rock, paper, scissors kind of alignment that fire beats a grass, grass beats electricity, electricity beats water, ele uh, water beats fire, over. I find it interesting that you say they beat each other, where it's probably that they need to connect in that order, maybe, over? Uh, well, it's, it's more in terms of that the water definitely beats uh, fire. Electricity technically beats water, and fire theoretically burns things, so I don't know. Over. Jim, I think we don't need to philosophize about it for our purposes. I'm just going to tell you the next set of numbers, because on my board, those things are blank. I think I probably need you to change what's there. But in any case, uh, the next set of, set, set of numbers is number three, pointing to the number two. Over. Uh, let's repeating. see. Three is B1, uh, which is electricity. Pointing to number two, A3, uh, which is nothing at this point. Over. Jam, why don't you go ahead and change A3 to electricity? You can do that, right? Over. We'll do just that. Over. That way we can at least remember which pair is which. Over. Okay. All right, that did appear fine on my end. Uh, next set of numbers is starting at 10, going to 8. Over. Uh, that is B3 to E1. Over. So E1 is grass, so maybe change B3 to grass as well, just so we can remember which goes together. Over. And actually, maybe change C3 and B2 to water, since those two were also together, over. Cool. No, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, Jan, there's one more set of numbers, and that is the number 6 going to the number 7, over. Uh, it's going to be 6 to 7. It's going to be B4 to E2. B4 to E2. Now that's interesting, Jan, because we have B4 from something else over. Well, just in case, I've placed a, the same symbol in the E2 as well over. So my guess is that we need to change these symbols to create some kind of a chain. Uh, but I'm not sure where to start. Start over. Uh, sounds logical, although I cannot be of much help right now. Over. Is anything changing on your end? Over. I uh, appear to have an orange line connecting E2 to B4, over. All right, I created that line. Uh, maybe change E2 to fire, over. How about that, over? Anything of note happen, over? Same orange line over. Hmm. Jam, I'm gonna need you to describe more what you have in your room because I need more information. I don't have any more clues over here. Over. I do believe I have described every single available clue to you, but just in case, I'm gonna go through them uh, one more time. Uh, so once again, I have the, the numbers one through ten corresponding to locations on the board that we have. Uh, 10 in total. 
I have the same board that we seem to be operating uh, at the same time and seeing at the same time. And once again, I have this circle of life on the ground. Electricity to water to fire to grass to electricity once again. And uh, my, my view leads to a room with a big glowing orb in it, which I'm assuming maybe is the second floor of the same Pewee room that you saw before. Over. I don't think our rooms are connected. Mine's just a big open church thing with a candelabra in the ceiling. I don't have... There's no clue here as to which of these numbers should be used first. The number six appeared twice, right? Hold on, let me just... Yeah, the number six appears... Oh, wait, hold on. One of these is probably a nine. One second, over. That'll be a six, because it's a book. All right, Jam, uh, these are books. So I guess I have to look at them right side up according to books. So the one that I said was four to six is actually four to nine. Can you tell me what nine is, please, over? Uh, I'm gonna also check what four is. Four is E5, so that is grass, and nine is A4, which is nothing at this point, over. Jam, since, uh, said fire comes after grass on your thing, right? In the in the arrows? Is this like the, from green to red, from grass to fire, over? The other way around, from fire to grass, over. And what does grass go to, over? Uh, electricity, over. Jam, why don't you go ahead and change A4 to electricity, over. Uh, be my guest, over. Aha! Aha! We've got a blue light now, so that's what we have to do. Uh, we have to, I guess, make these pairs work. So let me go to the next one, since I don't remember which was which. Over. All right, Jam, what about five to one? Five to one, over. That was C3 to D2. C3 to D2. Boom. Let me go get the next one. Over. Okay. Three, two. All right, Jim, that'll be three to two. Over. Sorry, I got confused by what I thought was my green screen, but it wasn't. Uh, could you repeat the numbers, please? Over. Three to two, please. Over. That's B1 to A3. B1 to A3. Over. Uh, Jam, please change A3 to, I guess, water. Over. Boom. Oh, we got this. I think we've cracked this, Jam. I think we've cracked it wide open. The next one is 10 to 8. Over. That's going to be B3 to E1. B3 to E1. Over. Are you sure? Over. Uh, there is one extra symbol placed on the board uh, at this point. But yeah, 10 is B3 and 8 is E1. Over. All right, can you please remove the one in B2 and change the one in E1 to electricity? Over. No can do. E1 is not editable. Uh, B3 is, though. Over. Well, then please change B3 to whatever comes before electricity. Over. Or for whatever comes before uh, grass. Over. That will be fire. Over. Okay. Is it like this? No. All right, last one was six to seven. Over. Which I'm assuming is the one that we have right now. Uh, six to seven would be B4 to E2. Over. Can you please change E2, I guess, to electricity? Over. Oh, yes. You hear that beautiful music jam? Over. I do believe we have uh, done did it. Over. <laughs> 